Hi, it's Dre Griggs with Obsidian Wisdom. Today we'll be discussing financial planning without investment management. There are people who love investing, and I do mean love investing. I myself, I watch Bloomberg every morning. I listen to it in the background. I enjoy investing as well. That's why my degrees are in economics, and when I first went off to college, my plan was to become an economist. As a result, I am someone who follows the information well enough where I have a pretty good understanding about the different sectors and industries, the seasonality of some of them, the economy, and what's going on when you have a recession versus expansion, a peak, and a trough where I can allocate my money myself. It's not to say that I always will or always want to, but it is to say that I find joy in it, that even if I was to pay someone to manage my money, that I would want to be able to play with some of the money myself where I have some of my own investments. Now, granted, I ended up finding a profession that allows me to allocate money not only for myself, but for other people as well to ensure that they're able to achieve their financial goals. There are people that I meet that enjoy investing as much as me. They enjoy waking up early, following the information, reading about the economies, seeing what's going on in the world markets. The difficulty that we face is there are, are a lot of financial planners that are getting paid based on the assets under management. As a result, they need to be managing your money for it to make financial sense for them. That is one of the reasons I went to the percentage of income model. By you giving 1% to 2% of your income as a fee to me, I'm then able to tell you what to do with the other 98% of your money. As a result, Obsidian Wisdom is not solely focused on managing your assets, where if you are someone who enjoys investing and you just want to simply have someone look at your investment plan, you want someone to share some thoughts with where we kind of throw back and forth. If you're someone who doesn't even want your money in the stock market, whether it's because it's tied in a business or whether you just don't like the stock market, it becomes very difficult to find a financial planner who is only paid based on the amount of money you have invested with them or a financial planner who has paid a commission based on the investment instruments that they offer. Our free structure puts the focus back on financial planning. Whether your money is in the stock market or whether your money is in your business, whether your money is in rental properties, or whether you just have the money sitting in your mattress, you are going to have a financial plan that enables you to be able to use your money in the most efficient and effective way possible. Because again, our focus is on financial planning. Where the money is located is of no consequence to us. You tell us where the money is, we'll tell you where it should be based on the goals that you have set and the time horizon, which is just a very fancy way of saying how long before you want to touch your money. If your time horizon is 10 years, if you wanted to stop working in 10 years, then we put a 10-year plan together. If your time horizon was 20, 30, 40 years, then again, same deal. We'll put a 20, 30, or 40-year plan together. Now, we will tell you, while you may feel comfortable with your money in your mattress, it is not keeping up with inflation, and as a result, it's almost like you're losing 3% every year because inflation long-term average is about 3%, so you at minimum need to have your money somewhere that keeps up with inflation. We can discuss multiple options and arenas because, as you guys know, within the Wisdom Metric framework, we talk about the seven proven income streams that the IRS says self-made millionaires use to allocate and diversify and build their wealth. And because 65% of millionaires are only using three income streams, you have the ability to mix and match where you don't have to be forced into any one. We can say, well, I don't like these two. Okay, well, within the five that are left, let's go ahead and choose three of them. For most people, their first income stream is either going to be their business or it's going to be their earned income. From there, we would then build two other income streams, whether you like tinkering and creating things so you have royalty incomes, or whether you do like the stock market and you can have a dividend income or capital gains income or interest income, which is just investing in very safe instruments such as CDs and money market accounts. But you don't have to have your money allocated in any particular way for it to make sense for us to work together which is why I enjoy the percentage of income versus the percentage of assets under management. The one thing that we all have in common is we need a plan. We need a plan of what to do with our money. We need a plan of the life that we want to live. And as you often hear me say, there is a plan for every season and a process for every result. Whether you have your money invested in the stock market or whether you have your money invested in real estate, you need a plan for how long your money needs to be there, how much income you need, what expenses are you going to take into your retirement, and what success looks like. As I've heard it said, if success is getting what you want, then happiness is wanting what you get. 
At Obsidian Wisdom, we want you to be happy in your success. If you like the video, I ask you to like and subscribe, and feel free to check out other Wisdometric videos if you're looking for ways to eradicate financial stress, generate passive income, and build a prosperous retirement strategy.